everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Trip It with Grip It. Today, I'm in Princeton, Texas at Sisters Grove Park. Now, there's some mountain biking trails out here. That's what we're here for. And it looks like there's about seven miles, four to five separate trails, separate loops. And I'm going to try and explore all of them today. Uh, the sun is kind of going down a little bit, so we're going to get out on the trail soon and get the stuff filmed. Um, but yeah, come along with me, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. And hopefully I'll be doing more of these videos because I really like doing these videos. So let me know if you got a park or mountain bike trail that you want me to go visit, take video of. Let me know in the comments below. See you guys. guys welcome back to another episode i am here in princeton at sister's loop and this is a new trail for me so we'll see how it goes also it's kind of late so i don't know how dark it's going to get but we'll see if i can get some good footage and try to get all these separate trails done and hopefully film everything i need to i got a new toy a 360 camera so I've got that on the handlebars I'm not sure if that will be too shaky or what because this is the first time I've ever filmed with a 360 camera so we'll see how that looks this is kind of a trial run with it so hopefully it turns out well if not I won't use it but thanks for joining me guys and we are on one of the five loops this one's called sisters and so far it's pretty flat just a couple bumps so we'll see how it looks and uh i'll make sure i keep looking at the gopro to make sure i've got the right angle because it's been a while since i've done one of these videos so anywho let's get rolling a little a little drop over here haven't done one of these in a while expert bypass let's check out the expert probably not an expert but take a look anyway that's a good little drop Nope, not getting that one. Man, I gotta retry. Another thing I just recently did is I had some service done at Trek and McKinney. Awesome guys, thanks for all the help over there, guys. And uh, I actually had a warranty item that broke, and that was. My rear brakes uh, still worked, but it was a little spongy, so a little piece, a little screw in there broke, and so I had to get that replaced, and they helped out. Now my brakes are working excellent, so something I'm adjusting to. I haven't done a mountain bike trail like this in a while, because I was doing 70, oh, there goes a water bottle. Because I was doing 75 hard. Let's see here. All right, 
restart that story. So I haven't done mountain biking trail like this in a while because I was doing, oof, just got thrown off that one. I was doing 75 hard and mainly I was taking my bike on the road and just hitting, hitting pavement with it. So really had no need to fix the brakes or anything. At least, you know, just spongy brakes. I wasn't doing any severe stops or anything. So, chose to get used to it. Now, now I have to get used to, I have to relearn how responsive these brakes are again, because they're very responsive. So, happy about that, but there's something new that I gotta take care of. Catching everything, but lots of freaking ruts. I aired up my tires with that handy dandy pump earlier and I love that pump but with all these uh, roots and things should have really kept it at 15 psi like it was so who knows all right enough talking no riding Careful there. Catch your wheel on one of those freaking rocks. Stones, I mean. That's fun. Whoa, whoa! Freaking tree came out of nowhere.
grass and the ruts are lethal. Hello. See, I would hit this, but it's not smooth at all. So I don't know if you guys can see that on the GoPro. I'll try to tilt it, try to tilt it down. There's a good lip right there. It's a good lip. I don't know if y'all can see that, but right there. So if you hit it, it's gonna bounce you up too high and your rear tire's gonna hit it. You're gonna go nosedive. So I was planning on hitting it, but then I saw that from back here and I stopped. I thought, I can jump that. And then I thought, you know what? That's gonna nosedive me right into the ground. So better safe than sorry. I'm not good at jumps anyway, so. All right, let's get started. Gone past it. Look at all the bumps afterwards too. No bueno. Do not feed Bigfoot. I won't. I'll give him a big furry hug. Dr. Squatch Soap, if I see him. Spider whip. Man, low tree. Heads up. Bigfoot is watching. I want to see. Where is he? If you all see him in the video, let me know. He's probably watching from afar. Where are you at, Bigfoot? It's hard to catch Bigfoot in the act when you're riding. Well, hello. That's what we want. Oh, I barely made that one. The tree almost took me out. Oh no. Alright. Caught my foot on one of those rocks back there. Bigfoot exiting. Crossing. Oh, I didn't see him. I was hoping to. This is a different type of technical. I thought that was the end, maybe there's more. Go in the grass. Much smoother. Smoother than the dirt. Expert bike pass. Oh. You not know, just do this. Yay! More ruts. Oh. Yeah, we feel like this is the same expert trail we were just on. Isn't it? Alright guys, I just checked the phone and our record on the uh, All Trails app. I thought this was the exact same trail, but it is not. Come on, come on. Here we go. It looked exactly the same. Same start. Very interesting. Good line, good line. Here we go. All right. All right. Yes! 
Come on. Oh, I did not think I was gonna make that. Ah. Come on. There we go. Come surprise myself. Oh, almost. What's up guys? So I went ahead and took a little break after that last little fall. Couldn't make it up that route right there, but I wanna just mention, man, like this is not a technical, not a hard trail at all. And it's only like a couple miles through Sister Loop. Uh, but man, it beats you up because you have so many routes downhill, right back up on a climb. And then there's a bunch of routes that are, you know, four or five inches out of the dirt. So definitely have to pick the right line for this. And you definitely have to have right gear and right stamina coming down and up these little hills. So just something to think about if you guys do come out here. Fox suspension is definitely helpful, but a uh, hardtail beat me up a little bit. I think a full suspension might have a little bit more cushion in the butt, but I've just been standing the entire time. I haven't even really put my butt on the, uh, the seat, kind of hovering right above it. So let's get back to it. Just thought I'd mention that since I had two minutes to sit here and rest. So I drink the rest of that bottle of water and we're gonna get back on, on the trail. See you guys. <laughs> Oh, perfect. Nice. That was interesting. Definitely a challenge on those little ones. Oh, hello. It's a good little downhill section. Oh, roots. Come on. Yes. Oh. Honestly. I did not think I was going to make those. Oh, they're like perfectly in line. Oh, with both tires at the same time. that drop. Y'all done these trails before? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys don't have to stop. Y'all yeah. are gonna catch up to me soon, I'm sure. Uh, it's the first time out here. Yeah, same.
Really? I was not expecting that. So check the app. It looks like we've gone roughly six and a half miles. And I don't know what this is. But uh, it says Lake Loop, which we already did Lake Loop, but must be the second portion of it. So we're gonna have to hit it. Hopefully it's not the same thing. I don't think it is. Salt your up, folks. Lake loop, yeah. Lake loop? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Did you guys do sisters? No. <laughs> First time in 20 years I yeah. think I've, I've done a trail. Probably same. Yeah. Yeah, I just recently started doing it, but this one was just a ton of ruts. Yeah. Yeah, I think the road was more treacherous. Yes. Got Absolutely. Shot this weekend said, yeah, just watch, watch for the roads because it was totally roaded up. Well, and like the cracks, there's some of them where you could fit your, both your bike tires yeah. right in them and just stop instantly. Yeah, <laughs> like, you off the bike. yeah no kidding. Well, That's cool. Fun. Have a good one, guys. All right, you too. too. See ya. See ya. y'all that's a wrap of sisters grove a lot of fun pretty tiring not too far the distance was only about seven and a half miles for that entire trail uh, but i was on my feet basically the entire time because the amount of routes that were there so um a fairly challenging trail it's easy in comparison to a lot of the trails out west where there's lots of rocks and all that kind of stuff but uh, the amount of routes that we hit and kind of just shifting us off the bike uh, took it out of me so a lot of fun Really good trail out here in Princeton, Texas, and uh, I'll definitely be hitting more around the DFW area, so look out for those videos. Appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget, drop a subscribe, like, and don't forget to comment. Always love to hear from you guys, and I appreciate you guys watching this. So, if you stuck around till now, I thank you. See ya.